Hello gents, I hope you're well. We're going to explain Meteora very quickly to you right now. And what I'm going to be explaining is the spot curve and bid ask part of it. So when you actually find a, let's say, let's take this Solana USDZ pool, you've got three options. When you add liquidity, you've got spot, you've got curve, and you've got bid ask. So I'm going to give you what they actually are in simple terms, when to use them and how to profit from them very well. So I'm going to have a quick look at Solana's price now. Is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? I don't know. It might go sideways. So in terms of what we're going to do, I've got some USDC in here, is a spot position. So if we put $1,000 into a spot position, each one of these is an equal amount in terms of what you're going to be earning. So depending on how much liquidity is in the pool, my percentage of that based on the fees is how much I'll earn. So if I own 1% of the liquidity and that's the average fees, I'll earn 1% of that in 24 hours. Obviously, my $1,000 is way less. However, let's say, for example, I earn 20 cents per one of these. Now, if we switch to a curve, what happens is it's more concentrated. So around these areas is where I'd earn the most. I might earn 40 cents and then it gradually falls down also with bid ask and this is a single sided pool it's the opposite so you earn the most as it goes down so if we want to put like two solana as well for example i will auto fill it so it's about 500 each now this shows slightly differently so each time this is my uh, usdc and this is my solana so what happens is we earn an even amount throughout the whole time this is probably if you're not sure what direction it's going to go, I would use a spot. However, if you're looking for something where it's stuck in the middle, it's constantly in the middle, like it's not really volatile, I would use a curve. Because you're most likely to earn between this and here and here. Because the amount of liquidity you've put here is larger comparison to the actual TVL of it. Down here, we're not going to earn as much. Now, bid ask is slightly different. So bid ask is always good when the volatility is there because it, if it swings, ideally you want it to swing between the top ends here. Now what I tend to do is I tend to do one-sided pulls if I'm not using a spot. So if I'm using a bid ask or a curve, for example, I might want to put in a thousand dollars to this one and we've got a full 12% here instead of 6% and 6%. We'll put $1,000 in, and what will happen is, at this point, will be the most amount of, well, how can I put, fees we'll earn around here. And once that starts to kick in, we'll start to earn a lot more. As it goes down, we'll earn a lot less, but obviously we're gonna be compounding. Now, once you start to earn, fingers crossed we do, what will happen is the curve is what I'll start to add. So let's say I get in, you know, $10 of USDC. I want to add some liquidity or let's say one Solana, something like that. What you want to do, let me refresh this quickly. You want to add either spot or you want to add a bid ask to it. So you can double up. So you don't have to use what you've been using. So we put a bid ask. If we put in like... I don't know, a hundred dollars and then a thousand or ten ten Solana. You can see here is what we're the gray line very faint is what we're adding to it. So as you go on, obviously I haven't got enough Solana in there, but this is hopefully gonna kick in and start to bring us some income. So I hope this explains what bid curve spot and bid ask is. Bit of a messy video, but you get the idea. You can always read this part as well, but fingers crossed you kind of got the idea of when to use it and when not to use it. I stuck with spot for many, many months, but I find that curve, bid ask, you can actually make a lot more money on. So do try it out. If you're unsure, go in with a spot, and then as you earn the fees and you compound, then you can start to use bid ask and curve uh, as you compound. Hope this helps. All the best and take care.